Hey guys, Voice Over City here. I asked you guys on Instagram which type of vlog content you guys prefer and the majority of you said that you guys like voiceovers. So here I am doing some bit of explanation about the things that I've been doing lately. Keep in mind that the following clips that you will be seeing happened before ECQ Season 3. So first off, we did a little bit of shopping because my mom will be flying back to her hometown to attend some important events. And I also did a bit of shopping for my brother who is currently in the province and will be attending these events with her. We also went to Uniqlo because it's my mom's go-to shop for her clothes. And I also been loving shopping at Uniqlo because they have really good pieces with very nice quality for the price that they're paying. So yeah, we did pick out some stuff for my cousins as well as Pasalubongs. After a bit of shopping, we went to Marugami Udon for lunch. Unfortunately, they don't have my usual, so I got a teriyaki beef. But I'm glad that I did because it's so yum. I love the beef. With that, here is my very awkward mukbang clip for you guys. <laughs> While we were headed to our next destination, we passed by the BTS pop-up shop and I noticed that there's no long queue like before. I've been wanting to go here but it's always packed with people so when I saw that there's no long queue, I immediately went there and checked it out for myself. They have this big ass LED TV showing their music videos and I got caught up watching the MV for Dynamite and they all look so cute but V is just chef's kiss. I love him so much. After BTS pop-up shop, we headed to the department store because my mom was looking for an extra suitcase. So we got her one. We found this cute pink suitcase for her and it's on sale so that's just great and we also tried to look for some pasalubong for my lola before heading home we passed by watson's so i decided to get a new concealer and a face wash because i already ran out of those things but besh na biktima tayo ng watson's budol if there's anything true about going to Watsons, it's the fact na hindi ka makakalabas ng Watsons nang hindi ka bumibili ng something random na hindi mo naman pinlano. So, I ended up picking out some skincare stuff, some OG skincare, and also toiletries for the house. So, I guess it's still worth it. I don't know. I'm trying to justify the fact na dumami ng dumami yung binili ko. A day before my mom's flight, we decided to do grocery shopping because she will be there for about two weeks or so, so we need stuff for the house. And it was also about two days before quarantine season 3, so my mom was worried that we would not be able to go out. So here's me just going around the grocery store picking out random things that I think are necessary to survive the quarantine. So. Yeah, enjoy!
I also took the time to watch my best friend Paula's Instagram live with Art Drop. She has a collaboration with them, so please check it out. It's her first IG live, so I know she was super nervous, but she did so well. And I hope you guys gave a lot of love to her work. She is a great artist, so let's support our local artist. Love you, Pao! <laughs> and then 2014, my senior year, I was peer pressured like to apply to a student org. Because at that time, they were looking for a creative director. <laughs> creative director. So I was like, sure, okay. And that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please consider following me on Instagram at mycity underscore so we can be friends. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Mwah.